What's up goodies? Welcome back to your girl channel and to the kitchen how to cook and today we are making garlic butter shrimp in the kitchen fast easy and simple make sure you subscribe with it if you have not already and turn on your post notifications so you won't miss any other uploads of all i'm returning good day and i don't know because i'm loving them you ready for cook come on let's go all right goodies let's talk about our ingredients and everything that we are going to be using to make a mean butter garlic shrimp in the kitchen every time straight now we are going to be using our tiger shrimp today for the recipe but just be sure that you have cleaned or deveined your shrimp really really good before you even attempt to cook it and of course you could use any other shrimp of your choice i'm using uncooked tiger shrimp here now i'm gonna season up the something now the, to get started we are going to go in with a little bit of oil here my oil of choice here is the sesame seed oil but of course you could substitute that oil and use any other oil that you like in your kitchen now in addition to the oil i'm going to add just a tad bit of vinegar okay i'm using white vinegar here just a little bit to get it going it's going to give it a mean flavor good it trust me when i tell you no vinegar make everything taste better now just go ahead and combine those two onto the shrimp that is the first step that you want to do to be sure that you have start the process the flavorful process right here now we're going to season very 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 mellow here very mellow and again the seasons of choice here is seafood season onion powder garlic powder parsley chili powder and fish seasoning okay so this is what i'm using here and i and black pepper you guys and i'm going to be listing everything that i have used here for the recipe down in the description box okay but i did use a teaspoon of everything here okay now to that we are going to add a little bit of ginger here i'm using ginger paste you could always use powdered ginger or um chopped ginger here then i'm adding some garlic i'm using chopped garlic to the recipe and that is all that i'm using to season my shrimp now goodie just be sure that you are really seasoning up your shrimp and all. Make sure that you're seasoning up your shrimp really good, okay? Don't be afraid to pour on them seasonings on your shrimp because you want it to have a really amazing flavor. If you are not seeing the season on the shrimp, that means you need to go back to season because it's not ready yet, okay? That is how you want it to look before you move any further. Now, moving right along, we are going to get a nice little pot here so we, we could get these shrimp toasted up really nicely. Now, I'm going back again with the sesame seed oil. And of course, you could substitute that oil out of your choice, okay? Now, I'm adding my shrimp into my pan here. And I'm going to allow the shrimp to cook about a minute or two on each side is what i am going to do okay a minute or two so let's go ahead and place your shrimp in and just allow it to cook a minute or two at a medium heat here now good if you're watching me cooking thus far please go ahead and give your videos your recipes honey a thumbs up because once you thumbs up these recipes youtube will see that you like them and what they will do they will push those recipes out into a much wider audience the channel will grow the video will grow and guess what we both are gonna grow and we want to go right so go ahead and support your channel simply by giving it a thumbs up all right boom so now that all my shrimp is in and we're going to allow it to cook once again for a minute or two you definitely don't want to overcook your shrimp because it's going to get rubber rubbery because remember you're going to add it into the last step okay now we're just going to go ahead and gently turn them over on the opposite side and you are going to go in and allow it to cook again a minute or two on the opposite side just like you did the first time right now guys as a reminder for some of you guys you don't know that i have a home decor channel it is called Life is Juliana. If you are into home decor and if you're into story times and vlogs and all that stuff, please go over and subscribe to that channel. The link for that channel will also be listed in the description of this video. Now that is what we want to have our shrimp looking like. 
we're going to go in and we go or are going to remove these babies out of the pan because we don't want to overcook them all right so go ahead and sit them aside now guys let me tell you something you see all them goodness they at the bottom of the pot that is all flavor from your shrimp okay so we are going to be using this pot for the sauce okay so we're going to make our butter sauce honey and we're going to use this good flavor to get started now let's wake up the flavor so we're going to have just a little bit of that sesame seed oil and again you could substitute your oil of choice i'm using one stick of butter to release the nice flavors from the bottom of this pot as you can see how i did with the butter and how the flavors are releasing that is exactly what you want to do here now i'm adding some more garlic because garlic honey palm vinegar make everything taste fabulous okay so as you can see the all that good flavor from the pot i start to release and that is exactly how you want it to be now please go ahead and turn your fire down from a medium heat to a low heat so that way you do not burn your garlic um or you don't burn your butter okay you just you're really looking for flavor here garlic butter flavor here All right, so now that it looks like that, honey, and it smells so good, we're going to go in and add a little bit of dried parsley. You could add fresh parsley here. Give it a nice little toss, you guys, just like so. And again, with your fire at a medium heat. A low heat, rather. A low heat, you guys. A low heat, okay? And this is what you have. Then you want to go in and add a half a lemon to it. Just squeeze out your lemon into this okay and if you don't have a fresh lemon you could use lime or you could use lemon juice if you're going to use lemon juice use one tablespoon of lemon juice all right so when that step is all over you want to go back in and give everything a nice toss and just combine all these ingredients together just like i'm showing you guys here just like so okay and the, the smell that's coming from this thing is amazing. Now you want to go in and add your shrimp. Now your shrimp is only going to be cooked for an additional maybe a minute or so, okay? Because it's all done here. The heat from your sauce is going to finish cooking your shrimp all the way through. So go ahead and turn your heat off. We don't want this thing to come to a sizzle manizzle, okay? Because it's going to be overcooked and it's going to be overdone. So turn your heat off give it a nice little toss goodie and your shrimp your garlic butter shrimp is all done all done here i did go in and make some pasta um i, I believe i showed you i have a recipe that i showed you guys that pasta i'll try to link that recipe down below however uh, i just wanted to go ahead and show you guys how you could serve this up you could just serve it on a tray just like i'm just showing you guys here amazing you guys and i did go back in and sprinkle just a little bit more of the dried parsley just to garnish so i can show you guys what it really looks like okay so that is pretty much done and then what i did do was put it on a plate as well you guys i wanted you guys to see how i did plate it up so just be sure that you are thumbsing up these videos because honey once again it does help the channel to grow you guys go ahead and show us some love and thumbs up the videos i'm waiting okay so that is it you guys this is it on a plate i served it up with some pasta here a little bit of veggies and some garlic um cheese bread that i made in the oven so i hope you enjoyed the video tell a friend for tell a friend bring them come and send them come i am waiting goody and when i get done doing that tell me what i want to see me cook next in my kitchen and remember as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy